The coalition officially launched their campaign yesterday, despite the fact the election date was announced three weeks ago. In the words of someone explaining the plot of Back to the Future, it's about time. Abbott skimped on paying for a warm-up act, making his daughters do it. Please join me in welcoming the man who may be the next Prime Minister of Australia. Maybe? Geez, thanks, kid. When we move into the lodge, you can have Rudd's old bed. Why can't you be more like this guy? Uh, I'd like to introduce Australia's next Prime Minister uh, and the federal leader of the United Australian Party, Professor Clive Palmer. That's more like it, but unlike his fence-sitting daughters, Tony Abbott was a little more definitive. This election is about making a great country even better. And that starts with changing the worst government in our history. Yeah, this is the worst government in our history. Not the government that got fired by the Governor-General. Not the government that introduced the White Australia policy. Not the government that stole kids from their families. You hear that, Labor Party? You're the worst government. It's all there in black and white, clear as crystal. You created the deficit. You started the boats. You stole fizzy lifting drinks. You bumped into the ceiling, which now has to be washed and sterilised. So you get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Meanwhile, several members of the WikiLeaks party, including star candidate Dr. Leslie Cannell, have resigned after controversial preference deals. Now it's being reported that the WikiLeaks Senate campaign is in crisis. Who'd have thought that a party started by an alleged sex offender who's been sleeping in an Ecuadorian kitchenette for the last two years would be in crisis? Elsewhere, Kevin Rudd has denied claims that he postponed an important Syria briefing to film an episode of ABC cooking show Kitchen Cabinet. News Limited papers went particularly hard on Rudd, and why wouldn't they? Because of Rudd's reckless Kitchen Cabinet appearance, Australia missed that Saturday afternoon window of time when we could have nuked Syria. Then on Sunday morning, to quell rumours that he wasn't neglecting his duties just to appear on ABC programs, Kevin Rudd appeared on ABC program Insiders. Why do you say you deserve to be re-elected? Well, Barry, I'm the first one to admit it, having returned to the Prime Ministership, that in the past the government has got a number of things wrong. A compelling argument for re-election. What else you got? The government has got a number of things wrong. All governments do. Um, I seek, however, to admit it. So if you want a government that'll get things wrong, vote for any old party. But if you want a government that'll openly get things wrong, vote one ALP. And fans of nostalgia got a special treat over the weekend, with several former Prime Ministers reminding us they're still alive. Paul Keating spoke at the campaign launch of Labour MP Bill Shorten and chose to get a bit nostalgic himself, describing a former Liberal Treasurer. Peter Costello. I mean, I used to call him the talking knee. Uh, 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 it's kind of like one of those knees you paint a face on, you know? We know! Take that, Costello, you talking knee! Sure, you may not be running in this election, but the people need to be reminded of your face and its painted knee-like qualities. Then we had Julia Gillard, who released a statement saying she won't be attending the Labour Party's campaign launch next Sunday, saying, I simply do not want to distract in any way from Kevin Rudd's powerful message to the Australian people. Well, she also said that there wouldn't be a carbon tax, so I'm guessing she will turn up late and in something strapless to show his ass up. Meanwhile, Bob Hawke, pictured here dressed for a Bob Hawke-themed costume party, has repeated his calls to make Australia the repository of the world's nuclear waste. Despite the fact that it could be a great source of income, Hawke says no one's got the guts to implement the unpopular idea. No one, of course, except for those candidates who are running on a platform of career suicide. As for John Howard, well, he got a bit of a couple. And Harold Holt, still missing. For The Roast, I'm Mark Humphreys.